your, what's your, how you get in that mode? Bro, it's on love. Has somebody coming up for me, you know? And then go to him, put something to the side. Yeah. And I'll back up. Whichever one I'm fucking with the hardest, I'm going to go and stop coming through. Every time off the top, you want to be right shit down? Yeah, most of the time, I'm not even coming to the top of the top. So, so. Yeah. I know one of the songs where I really kind of originally, I was like, damn, this shit hard was the, uh, the Talk of My Shit record. Mm-hmm. That, went cra- that went pretty crazy out, out there. That was the first motherfucker I freestyled too. Like, oh, that was the first one you freestyled? Yeah, just started freestyling. Yeah, that was the first one I freestyled. Was it, was it hard, harder than <laughs> that, or was it, did it just flow more? You yeah, it like, flowed better. You know, I, I was adjusting to it, and I like how it sounded after the shit. So. I really posted on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Jay Money told me taking that and posting on his shit. And I, uh, I had a shorter version on YouTube. I went back when I took it out, I went back and put some more things on it. Yeah. That's when I put the second version on it. When it went crazy on Jay Money shit, like, did you expect it to go that crazy? Like, how was it? Nah. Shit, you know, I was still getting 70 k and shit at the time. So I'm like, you're gonna get another one of them, you know? Yeah. Cause yeah. that's how big numbers they get like a million a week. That's a lot of fucking views, bro. <laughs> what you think it was about that record that that was the one that <coughs> did that? Was it Jay Money's page or was it just the record? Like, what you think it was? Jay Money's page definitely had shit going on for something, something. I mean, that whole stood out on the page, though. Yeah. I mean, I know you got the, the line in there back in the day, you had beef with a nigga, meat with a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Now you can tweet those. I like that. That's what I said. You said back in the day. I like, you know, that guy was like, you know, he's 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 like, that's the difference. I like, you know, we talking about kind of generational. I'm a bit older than you, but like, like you said, back in the day, it was like, if it was something, like, all right, we're going to meet after school type shit, do what we got to do. Now, niggas is tweeting and doing what, like, how you feel like just with that in the social media generation with? Shit, I got old, like, so tight. Shit, I don't rate my older niggas with kids. Um, it's, it's a lot of shit you'll see young niggas, you know, see you know? Yeah. Who, who really raised you like that? You say older oh, niggas like, my brother? brother? He's 16 years older than me, you know? Oh, shit, so he really old than me for real? Yeah. Yeah. So you grew up kind of hanging around him and his friends and shit like that? Yeah, for sure. My mama, my mama was there, but other than that, I'm, I wasn't really around my mom, you know, I just want to be around my mom. Like yeah, that, so, you know. Right, sure. Now let's talk about that, man. You obviously, you know, you're from Austin, Texas. There's not that many rappers that's really waving that flag like that. Yeah, nah, you know, I'm, I'm really one of the first ones, especially from my side of town. I'm from, uh, I'm from like outside of town, big from uh, Austin, Texas, you know, Austin, big from my side. You know, from my side, it's really small, and you know, everybody knows each other. Yeah. So they fuck with me, like especially because you can still see me in the hood, so it's fun. Yeah. yeah. What what was it kind of just like growing up in Austin? Cause I don't really know too much about it over there. I've been to South by Southwest. Like yeah, that's as far as it. That's about as far as I know. What was it like, kind of just growing up in Austin? Shit, it ain't it ain't too bad. But it ain't all good. You know, it's like any little normal hood. You know. Yeah. Do you feel like that? Like the journey is was quick and it's kind of like moving fast. Yeah, cause I've been rapping. I think I've been rapping for two and a half years. So she going. She's one of my favorite right now. Yeah. And yeah, it happened real quick. We think you we think you popped off that. Was it like a like SoundCloud? You feel like the SoundCloud really just started getting lit first and that's what kind of started carrying shit? YouTube. YouTube? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My YouTube was numbers, Yeah. I was made I think I made it six months ago, that helped my numbers up. Is it the is it the actual the visuals or the songs you think? It's just like both. <laughs> both. Yeah, they go crazy. Yeah, now that, that, that's dope. Um, I know you signed to, to 10K, mm-hmm. uh, Elliot Grange. How was that like just in terms of like you uh, kind of wanting to take the deal? Like what, what is that like? Because it was at a point where you, you know, you, you, you move in numbers, you get hot. And I work for a regular label, so I know how it goes. Once somebody get hot, everybody on you, everybody in your line trying to sign you and this shit. Yeah. Um, what was it about this situation that kind of made you feel like this was something that you wanted to fuck with. They made me feel the most comfortable, like, out of everybody. But I went to them, I already knew, like, I had the vibe, like, you know, I was with them, you know. Yeah. You know, the team, you know, the team, you know, and then she, she, she fuck with them, yeah. <laughs> right. Was it always, uh, your plan, like, when you started rapping, like, yo, I'm about to go, you know, get a record label deal, do this, or be independent? Was that, like, you ever think about that part of the side, like, the business aspect of shit? Yeah, yeah, I was thinking about this shit early on. At first, I was feeling like I was going to say, you know, once you grow, you learn to do shit, you decide to do it. Yeah. 
are you on top of your business like that? Because I see a lot of the, especially the young guys, um, may not necessarily care about the business part. It's like, you know, I got my business people who take care of that.